Joe Burrow said T. Higgins is going to be back. He said, I fully expect T to be back. That's the sentiment in the locker room. Uh, Joe is not someone to just say things either. He is someone who, if he says something, he means it and he fully expects it. So Joe also said that there's stuff in his contract to uh, help get T back and to get Jamar Chase back. And uh, we don't know what those things are yet. Uh, that'll probably come a little bit down the road. But T. Higgins is a free agent. We could franchise tag him. Wouldn't really want to do that personally, though. I'd rather extend him and just kind of end this whole narrative that T is going. Uh, some big name unrestricted free agents that the Bengals have this year. DJ Reader, Tyler Boyd, Chidobi Awuzie, Jonah Williams, T. Higgins, Irv Smith, I'll throw him in there, uh, Joe Bocci, uh, Tanner Hudson, Trent Irwin are both restricted free agents, and then Jake Browning is an exclusive rights for free agent. So DJ Reader, he was a big one in the offseason who people were like, we can't extend Jamar and T and uh, Reader. Thing with Reader, he got hurt and he tore his quad. And that is a long time injury from my understanding. It takes like a year to recover from. So even if Reader were to get healthy, um, or even if he were to walk, I don't know if he is going to even play for any team next year. He's going to be 30 years old. Bengals don't usually uh, extend players who are going to be 30. Um, Reader's a stud, though. I love Reader. He is huge for the run defense, huge leader on the defense. That's kind of why I, I have been such a big advocate of drafting a defensive tackle because Reader is – Getting older, he's not going to be there. Um, another guy, Tyler Boyd. Love Tyler Boyd. My favorite Pitt Panther of all time, Chuss, is Tyler Boyd. And uh, he he's he's walking. I, I'm going to be sad to see him go. I'll still root for him as long as he doesn't sign with the Steelers. He's but, coming uh, home, baby. You know he's no, coming home. No, no. Cheeto. Cheeto. Uh, has kind of taken a uh, step back this year. He's also kind of older, so I wouldn't be shocked if we let him go. Jonah Williams, uh, we could probably find a better right tackle somewhere else for less. Irv Smith, he he can leave. He was awful. Our practice squad tight end, Tanner Hudson. Bring, bring Tyler Boyd to Pittsburgh. Oh, we're I'm starting just, that. Yeah, I'm just, doing, I'm just doing that to, uh, to make you upset. Okay, what's well, not it, working? It, uh, okay well if it happens <laughs> but you will be upset i'm just doing this because all, all uh, up until this point i haven't hyped up the steelers you know you know real quick though real quick actually no no, no. You, you finish your thing you finish your thing you continue with your okay. your spiel that you're doing right now about how yes. the Bengals have their free agents yeah so two of the guy, two or three of the guys that Bengals fans really thought we had to resign this year were dj raider cheeto and jonah williams I don't think you have to re-sign those guys anymore, personally. You, Cheeto, you can replace with DJ Turner and draft a better another cornerback later in the draft, I think. Bengals have done pretty well with drafting cornerbacks. Um, I think he's replaceable. DJ Reader is older anyway. You had to draft a defensive tackle anyway. Maybe go find a guy like Chris Jones or Josh Allen, who are both free agents as well, uh, depending on what they're asking. Uh, but DJ Reader is going to be injured anyway. Maybe sign him to a playoff contract if you make it, but I don't think he needs a full extension anymore, just my opinion. Tyler Boyd is walking, unfortunately. T. Higgins can be re-signed. I believe the Bengals can do this. I fully believe Joe Burrow is telling the truth when he thinks the Bengals are going to re-sign T. Higgins. The only thing that concerns me is he has the same agent as Jesse Bates, who the Bengals have never done a deal with before. So uh, we'll see what happens there. But I fully expect to see T. Higgins in stripes, even though I was depressed a few nights ago when the T. Higgins jerseys went on sale online for 53% off. So uh, what, do you, what do you guys think about T. Higgins? Do you think he's gone? Do you think I'm being ridiculous? What, what's, the, what's the scoop? I mean, if you can keep him, great. But here's here's my bigger question. You, you said you're able to move on from Jonah Williams. I'm, I'm just curious, who do you think you're getting who's going to be better or as good as Jonah Williams? 
Jonah Williams is not that great at the right tackle position. Um, he's And he wants to be a left tackle. And I think there is a team that will pay him left tackle money. Uh, I think literally anyone is better than him at the right tackle position. Uh, we've had to have Drew Sample basically protecting Jonah Williams this entire game. If you go watch Bengals games, there are literally plays – where Jonah looks like he didn't snap the ball. He doesn't know they snapped the ball. And the edge rusher just goes whoop, right around him. Another guy is Cordell Volson, the left guard, but he's kind of younger. I really think Frank Pollock needs fired, and that's the true answer to our O-line issues. Because uh, he – I don't know how we consistently have this bad of O-line play with different people. But uh, I, I wouldn't be opposed to drafting a right tackle either. Uh, defensive tackle, right tackle, and tight end were, would be the three positions I'd be okay with taking in the first. If we take anything else, um, I'd be kind of annoyed. But I don't think Jonah Williams is worth what he is probably going to get in free agency. Are you asking? Are you waiting for my opinion, or are you waiting? Yeah, what's your opinion, Chess? You always tell me to be be uh, calm down, be less optimistic. Hey, uh, I think you should calm down and be a little less optimistic. Um, the problem is, is do you think that this contract move is good for the overall benefit of your team going forward? Because he's probably going to have a pretty decent sized contract. Not not huge, but it, it could affect you getting other players in other positions. You have to think. You have to think on a management basis too. Nothing against T because T's been great for the Cincinnati Bengals. But obviously, T could be a number one wide receiver in Kansas City and probably get paid wide receiver one money over in Kansas City. I know you would hate that, but T would get to be wide receiver one. Now, obviously, I don't expect T. I don't think that T wants to leave. But if the contract's not right or the payments aren't enough. You could franchise tag him, okay? But if you do extend that extension, unless you trade him or you cut him or something happens, depending on your guarantee for him, do you, do you think it's worth it? Because remember, you, you're when you pay for higher players, you're going to have less money to work with when it comes to other positions. So I just wanted your opinion on that. I just wanted to see what you think of that. Well, my question would be, do you, would you rather – it's going to come down to what the player desires. And I get like getting a payday for your family and setting up legacy money and stuff like that. But as a player, as a competitor, do you want to be the highest pay paid at your position? Or do you want to go win some Super Bowls? Do we want to go win some rings? And that's, that's a personal thing to the player. And so maybe, maybe T is like, I just want the money. So if the Panthers are going to give me $25 million a year, I'm going to take the money. But then are you okay with losing a lot of games? Because that's what's going to happen in Carolina for the foreseeable future. Or are you better off taking a pay cut, playing with one of the better quarterbacks in the NFL, alongside one of the better wide receivers in the NFL, on one of the better teams in the NFL? Maybe you're making a little bit less money, but you've got a lot better shot making a uh, playoff run, a Super Bowl run with the Bengals than you do with the Carolina Panthers. So that's mm. – that's. Yeah, I mean, it's possible, but like I said, there are teams out there that could still use the wide receiver because, like I said, I still mentioned Kansas City. So, I mean, it's not – and and he would be one of the better teams in the NFL with one of the better teams in uh, – But – With a better quarterback. But Tra so. Travis Kelsey's talking about retiring. Which is Kansas open. City as good without Travis Kelsey? Well, then that might push for a T. Higgins signing. <laughs> so, but um, nonetheless, I'm not saying that he will, but I am saying like think of it long term because it could benefit your offense by signing T. Higgins, but would it benefit your defense? Because you have because remember you still need your secondary, and without that money, would it be a smart financial decision for the Bengals to sign T. Higgins? and possibly not have money to fill, you know, your depth positions that you might need in, you know, corners or linebackers or whatever you might need. I'm just curious. The the defensive side that scares me more is less of the secondary and more of the uh, defensive line because Trey Hendrickson, okay, Trey Hendrickson's extended. Sam Hubbard's a big question mark. DJ Reader, like we talked about, um, they don't have a lot of, 
depth at that interior defensive line position. Uh, they've done fairly well at drafting cornerbacks. Cam Taylor Britt's a stud. Uh, they brought Cheetah was a free agent signing. Mike Hilton was a free agent signing. Uh, Dax Hill, I think, is more of a slot corner, even though they keep trying to play him at safety. Um, I think he'll end up being good once he's in his correct position. Uh, Jordan Battle is a safety who's been great in the secondary. They've done well getting these late round, uh, non first round guys and working with them. Now, how much of that is Lou Anaruma? How much of that is drafting? I don't know. That's hard to say. Uh, but I think the Bengals have done okay with young corners. VJ Turner needs some work still. The defensive interior run stopping is the issue. And if we can't do that, that's going to be a big thing. But again, that goes back to the draft, drafting a defensive tackle, bringing in these guys who we know can help stop the run. Uh, Again, maybe another veteran signing. I don't know if you're going to get a Josh Allen or a Chris Jones type guy. Those are big names. But maybe you get a lesser guy who isn't as much but still helps. Um, But I think it can be done. And I don't think – Again, I don't think Joe would say this thinking it wasn't going to happen, and I don't think T would want to do something detrimental to the team either, just the way that they've interacted with the fans. I don't think that he'd go into this saying, I'm going to take as much money as I can, screw everyone else, because that's that's just not the persona he gives off. That's not the locker room vibe he gives off. So um, we'll see what happens. It's hard to say. I mean, we can – We can guess all day. It's like the draft. You can point and say, this guy's going to go here, but there's a million different versions of what can happen. Yeah. And I mean, and it's one of those things though, for you guys, like even if you were to lose T Higgins, um, there are still a lot of good wide receivers that you could either sign or draft because this, this draft class does have some really good wide receivers that you could get late. I mean, even like somebody like a Zay Flowers, who was a, uh, second i believe a second round pick if not a third round pick he ended up going to uh, baltimore and he's a really good wide receiver i mean it, it's i'm not saying that t higgins is like replaceable because obviously he has a really good personality he clicks well with the Bengals uh locker room and whatnot but um you know if there was that possibility that you couldn't resign him you couldn't afford him you're looking for the money to go elsewhere or whatever reason there is replacements and do not be concerned about that However, until we know something, uh, do not get your hopes up because, like I said, if you get your hopes up and then T. Higgins decides not to, you're going to be unbelievably disappointed. So I just just want you to just kind of keep it low. Be excited that there's a possibility, but don't be overexcited. Like, you know, because the one thing I was going to mention, the one thing I was going to mention, let's just talk about the idea that, you know, I kept my calm and whenever we made it to the wild card, I didn't pull a Josh and be like, the Pittsburgh Steelers are the best team to ever exist. We have Golden. We have her big. We have High Smith. What? He's hurt. He's fine. We've got Mason Rudolph. He is 3 0. He's that hot hand. He's thrown three touchdowns that are 50 plus yards. He's a stud. Patrick Peterson's figuring it out. We have Minka and Casey coming back. Unbelievable. Buffalo doesn't even stand a chance. We are the next Super Bowl champion. Stairway to seven, baby. Let's go. That's because Tomlin has broken all of your hope. Zach Taylor has given me hope. I don't want to. I don't know. Maybe, but <laughs> I didn't pull a. I didn't pull a Josh and just hype up the Steelers. But I am. I am excited to see what happens. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm just glad that there's some. There's one more week of Steelers football at least. Okay. So. Um, I am, I'm very excited about Andre Yoshivas though. Yoshi, very excited about him. He had two touchdowns against the Browns. Very excited for that man. Uh, Princeton Tiger, late round pick. Let's go. Uh, thanks for watching that video, guys. If you want to check out a most recent full episode of No Buts About It, that's going to be right over here. Yeah, right, right there. Check that out. And if you just want to see more short clips, we're going to have one right over here for you to watch. Uh, Check out No Buts About It on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, anywhere you listen to podcasts so you can listen to us on the go. Once again, have a great day and go do something nice for someone.